This is the Children's Sunday School lesson for um, December the 26th, which is the day after Christmas. And I call this lesson Christmas Part 3. Okay? And um, in, lots of, in lots of manger scenes, you will find um, Mary and Joseph and the baby and the shepherds. But sometimes you'll see these guys in the scene too. Maybe he looks like this, or like this, or like this. What do we call those guys? Call them the three kings or the wise men, right? So today I'm going to tell you about the wise men. On the day that Jesus was born, the wise men who lived far off in the east, away from Bethlehem, they saw a new star in the sky. And so they searched all of the old writings, trying to figure out what a new star in the sky would mean. And they figured out that a new star in the sky meant that there was a new king born to the Jews. And so they got together and they traveled following that star to see where that new king was going to be born. And we don't know. My set here has three wise men, but it could have been two. It could have been 10 or 12. We really don't know. We just know that some people came from the east to worship Jesus. And as they came from the east, they... um came to Jerusalem, and when they came to Jerusalem, they went to sing King Herod, and they said, we came for a long, long, long trip to see this newborn baby. Did you just have a new baby that's going to be, that was born to be king of the Jews? Herod said, not me, not me, it wasn't me, I didn't have a new baby, and Herod was very upset, and so were all of the other people in Jerusalem because there was a new king. What about King Herod? How, how could there be a new king born king of the Jews? Where, who is this king? And so King Herod said, well, let's look in the old scriptures. So they called in the priests and the scribes and the people that knew God's word really well. And King Herod said, where will the newborn king be born. And they said, oh, the book of Micah says he's going to be born in Bethlehem. Oh, in Bethlehem. So King Herod went to these guys and said, that baby you're going to find in the town of Bethlehem. It's not far from here. You go to Bethlehem and you'll be able to find him. And when you find that newborn king, you come back and tell me because I want to go worship that king too. So the wise men said that they would. And as they started off for Bethlehem, what do you think? The star they had seen in the east was right over the house where Mary and Joseph were living with the little boy Jesus. He wasn't a little baby anymore. So they came into the house where the star was over the house and they gave him gifts. They gave him gold and frankincense and myrrh. Three things. One for a priest, one for a king, and one was a burial spice. So Jesus was going to be the king of all kings he was going to be um, the high priest that that talks to God for us. And he is also be the one that was going to die for us. So they brought him those gifts. And that's the reason people think there might have been three wise men, because there were three gifts. And gave those gifts and bowed down and worshipped this little baby and gave him the gifts. And then God warned them, don't go back to Herod because Herod wants to hurt the boy, not worship him. So they went home a different way. They didn't even go back to Jerusalem to see Herod. They went home a different way. And that night after they left, God sent an angel to talk to Joseph in the night. 
And the angel said, Joseph, you need to get out of Bethlehem right now because King Herod knows that the baby is here in this town and he's going to come and hurt the baby. So in the middle of the night, Joseph put Mary and the little boy Jesus or little baby Jesus onto a, a donkey or some animal and took them the whole way to Egypt. And they stayed in Egypt until King Herod died. And then they wanted to move back to Bethlehem. But God said, eh, you know what? Who's reigning is Herod's son. So they said, let's go to Nazareth instead. So they took Jesus to Nazareth, and that's where Jesus grew up. <coughs> the memory verse is 2 Corinthians 9, 15. It says, thanks. Thanks be to God for his unspeakable gift. You know, we always give gifts to each other at Christmas, right? But the best gift that has ever been given to anyone is when God sent Jesus to be born in a manger because he was God in a human body and he came for one job to die to forgive us for our sins let's pray the best gift of Christmas the best gift that could ever be given to us is that unspeakable gift that inexpressible that gift is so wonderful we can't even just find enough words to say about it the best, best, best gift is the gift that you gave us when you gave us Jesus. When Jesus left heaven, came to earth as a little baby, and grew up to die for us. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.